Hello there, Dr. Mungli here. So in this video, I will be explaining you the mechanism of tooth decay and also how to prevent it. Now what is the cause for tooth decay? In order to understand it, we need to know how much or how many bacteria is present in our mouth. So our mouth has got billions of bacteria. And also if you try to see what all the species, how many species are living in our mouth, so it is estimated around 500 to 1000 species of bacteria can live in our mouth. And also at any given point in time, around 100 to 200 species can be present in our mouth. Let's come to the number of bacteria that are present in our mouth. It all depends on what is the oral hygiene, what is your oral hygiene. If the oral hygiene is good, it can vary from 1000 to 100,000. If the oral hygiene is bad, it can be 100 million to 1 billion bacteria for each tooth. Remember, so this number is for each tooth. If the oral hygiene is good, each tooth will have 1000 to 100,000 bacteria on each tooth. And if the oral hygiene is bad, each tooth will have 100 million bacteria to 1 billion bacteria. Now, one of the major bacteria that is uh, that is considered as a major culprit in causing tooth decay is Streptococcus mutans. Now, what this Streptococcus mutans does? Now, the Streptococcus mutans, it thrives or it survives by consuming our glucose coming from food. Like any sugary things or like a candy or like a, a soda or maybe a starchy food. Anything that has glucose and that glucose is used by the bacteria and it is going to conduct a metabolism, glucose metabolism called glycolysis. Glycolysis as I have shown here, it is the conversion of glucose into pyruvate and pyruvate furthermore, it can be converted into acetyl-CoA that's an aerobic glycolysis or it can be converted into lactate which is an anaerobic glycolysis. Now the Streptococcus mutans here, it is largely anaerobic bacteria. It means it is going to convert glucose all the way into lactate, two molecules of lactate. For each glucose, you make two lactate. And this lactate, it is a lactic acid. It's a deprotonated form of lactic acid. Lactic acid, it's an acidic molecule. So Streptococcus mutans continuously, when it makes lactate, lactic acid, it's going to release it in the mouth. So that means as, as and when lactate is, lactic acid is secreted, so basically it is going to bring proton because lactate and proton here. So the proton concentration increases in the mouth and more protons means decrease in the pH of the mouth. So normally what happens under like in the daytime, so we secrete more and more saliva and the protons are taken care by the buffering mechanism present in the saliva. So usually it doesn't do to our tooth. So whereas during night time or like evening or night times when we are sleeping, so basically during that time when more and more lactic acid is secreted, so the saliva, sufficient saliva is not there to buffer this. So it means acid has got its effect on the tooth. Now I have shown you the tooth structure here. So it has got enamel on the top and that is the calcified portion that you see there. So where uh, there's a mineralized part of tooth. And below that is a less mineralized part called dentin. So in tooth decay what happens because of the more and more lactic acid that is produced by streptococcus mutants. So there will be demineralization of enamel first. It means calcium is taken out. It is going to break down hydroxyapatite crystal which is the one which has made enamel. And then it can later go into dentin which is a less calcified uh, part of the tooth. So this is how the tooth decay starts because of the more number of streptococcus mutants. So it means if you eat a lot of sugar and if you don't keep your mouth uh, clean, that means more and more bacteria will be there on each tooth and they will basically convert glucose into lactate and thereby more and more lactic acid is produced and that acid will cause tooth decay. Now how to prevent it? So the prevention, first thing is to keep good oral hygiene, brush your teeth, okay? So this is the first thing. So second thing is 
we really need to constantly use or regularly use a fluoride containing toothpaste or fluoride containing anti cavity solution so the anti cavity solution it contains a fluoride now how this fluoride is going to prevent tooth uh, decay now the fluoride it is going to inhibit an enzyme called enolase and this enolase enzyme it is a glycolytic enzyme it is going to convert two phosphoglycerate molecule into phosphoenol pyruvate this is one of the uh, reaction in glycolysis so your fluoride is going to inhibit bacterial enolase why only bacterial enolase because the amount of or the concentration of fluoride that is added in anti cavity solution or toothpaste is just sufficient to inhibit bacterial enolase that is enolase present in the streptococcus mutans bacteria so it means you are targeting glycolysis in uh, streptococcus mutans bacteria so when the glycolysis is halted so the bacteria won't be able to make sufficient atps for its own multiplication and bacteria is going to die so as the bacteria dies it means you are going to bring down the um, number of bacteria present on each tooth and also you are going to decrease lactic acid production by this bacteria so as the lactic acid production decreases so the tooth decay that is demineralization of the dent the enamel on the tooth is also decreased and that's how you can prevent cavities so the good thing is you need to maintain good oral hygiene thereby bringing down the number of bacteria on each tooth and also regularly use uh, fluoride containing toothpaste or fluoride containing anti cavity solution and this is what is the cause and mechanism of tooth decay i hope this video helped you in understanding this concept so thanks for watching